Look after that leg. And that leg. And that leg. And that leg. And that leg. And... Mum, Gaston's hurt himself! Oh dear, you better bring him straight in. I didn't expect to see you back so soon, Gaston. <coughs> it's a bit sore, isn't it? <coughs> I'll bandage it for you. And I'll sprinkle on a little fairy dust, just to make it heal quickly. There. Gaston scratching it. No, Gaston, you mustn't scratch it or it won't get better. I'll just pop on this plastic collar. <coughs> now he can't scratch it. <coughs> Sorry, Gaston. Here's another sticker for being so brave. <coughs> Be careful now. I don't want to see you back here again. Mrs Elf, have you got the holiday tickets? Yes, here they are. Good. Throw them down to me. Oh, I'm not sure that's such a good idea, Mr Elf. You might not catch them. <laughs> I'll catch them. OK, if you're sure. You see, elves are great at catching, and I'm an elf. <coughs> <laughs> Why has Gaston got that big collar on? Don't laugh, Dad. You'll upset Gaston. Sorry, Gaston. Here are the car keys. Shall I bring them down? <laughs> Just throw them to me, Mrs Elf. If you're sure. <coughs> <coughs> Gaston caught the keys. Gaston's great at catching, even with that collar on. Yes. Uh, well done, Gaston. Give me the car keys back now. <laughs> I'm making a toy car. I make a toy duck. A toy helicopter. A toy boat. I'm making a toy frog. A toy rabbit. I'm making a robot. Ooh. I see that Miss Holly does not have a toy. That's OK. I'll magic one. Zing, zang, zingy, zoi. Magic me a little toy. <gasps> Ooh. Miss Holly, magic is not allowed at elf school. Only because elves can't do magic. <clears throat> elves could do magic if they wanted to, but elves don't do magic. And we're elves! <laughs> <laughs> Miss Holly, uh, you can work on this toy owl for today. Thank you, wise old elf. And I will take this wand for now so that you learn how to work the proper elf way, without magic. Oh. Don't worry. You can have it back at the end of the class. Boys and girls, take out your hammers and remember to tap gently. Nanny Plum. What is it, Ben? I haven't got time to be answering the door to elves. Can Holly come out to play? I'm afraid Princess Holly is too busy to... Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. I've got a new watch. Wow. Is it a real watch? Yes. You can hear it ticking. Oh, yes. Can you tell the time, Ben? Not yet, but we're going to learn how to tell the time at school today. Yes. Well, I'm sure you don't want to be late. I'm an elf. Elves are never late. <coughs> Bye, Holly. Bye, Ben. I wish I had a watch. Whatever for, Princess Holly? If I had a watch, I could tell the time. We fairies don't need watches. We have different ways of telling the time. Like what, Nanny? We have dandelion clocks. Here's a good one. How can a dandelion 
Tell the time. We count how many puffs it takes to blow away all the seeds. Like this. <gasps> One. <gasps> two. <gasps> three. It took three puffs. That means three o'clock. <laughs> I want to go. One. That means one o'clock. Wow. So is it really one o'clock? <laughs> Not really. It's just a game. But Ben's learning to tell the time properly. Can I go to his lesson? Oh, all right. But I'm sure it won't be much fun. When the big hand and the little hand are pointing straight up, it is 12 o'clock. Will be bright and sunny everywhere. Look, King Thistle, Gaston's getting better. Wow, splendid. And the pixie pound has seen a drop oh, oh. to the um, dollar. Gaston says that this TV programme is a bit boring. How about this one? And this programme's too noisy. Hmm. Oh, oh. this programme is just right. <laughs> Look, Daddy, Gaston's not sneezing anymore. So, uh, now Gaston's better, maybe he can go home. But, Daddy, Gaston can't go home until his home is mended. He might catch another cold and then he'll be sad. Yes, we wouldn't want Gaston to be sad. <laughs> Gaston says you are the nicest king in the whole world. <laughs> Thank you, Gaston. Uh, maybe I'll go and see how the elves are getting on at your cave. Hello, wise old elf. How much longer is this going to take? As we builders say, there's no point in rushing things. Well, maybe a little rushing wouldn't do any harm. I'm afraid we have a lot of problems to deal with, Your Majesty. Uh, it's probably a silly idea. But have you tried moving that pebble over the hole? <laughs> You're right. That is a silly idea. Maybe it's still worth a try? With respect, Your Majesty, we each have our jobs to do. You're the king, and I'm the builder. Of course. Deep ho, deep ho, deep ho, deep deep ho, deep deep ho, deep 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 ho, deep ho, over you go, over you go. Princess Holly, would you do the honours by tapping the bucket? <laughs> I'll soon sort that out. Ah, there's your door. <laughs> Since this is our very own castle, I've decided I'm not Princess Holly anymore. I'm Queen Holly. And I am King Ben. <laughs> <laughs> my, my, it's almost home time. Oh, Dad! Can't we stay in the castle a little bit longer? But the tide will be coming in soon and... Please, Mr Elf, please can we stay a bit? Just a little bit, then. We'll pack the car, but you must come when we call you. Yes, Mum! We promise! Oh, look! The sea is coming closer. That's great! Soon the castle will have a moat. Oh! Holly almost left her wand behind. Talking of Holly, let's fetch the children. I don't want to go home. I want to stay in our castle forever and ever. Now, where were we? You just said hocus pocus, plinkety plonk. Oh, yes. Ahem. <coughs> hocus pocus, plinkety nanny plum. Oh, bother. What can he want now? Nanny! I want a cup of tea! Yes, 
Yes, coming! Ugh, this card will never get made. I'll just have to do the magic myself. Now, what was Nanny's spell? Hmm, ah oh, yes, Hocus Pocus Plinkety Plonk. Uh, how about make me a birthday card super duper quick? <laughs> Got all day. Right. You naughty paintbrushes. I'll do a stronger spell to make you go faster. Sam, pop, zip, pow. More, bigger, faster, now. <laughs> This is a library. We must be quiet. Wow. It's huge. There are so many books here. How do you stop them flying about and fidgeting? These are not magic books, Your Majesty. Oh, well, how do you ever find what you are looking for, then? We ask the wise old librarian. So where is this wise old librarian? <clears throat> Can I help you? Are you the librarian? Yes. <clears throat> Do you know where the stars go in the daytime? Uh, yes. The answer is in the astrophysics section, second row, reference 520.34. This way. But we already looked in books for the answer. What books did you look in? We looked in my storybook. And we looked in magic spell books. Well, there are different books for different things. There are books with stories in. Ooh, look, witches. And books about how things work. Wow, a rocket book. There are books about music. <gasps> oh, palm music for elves. My favourite. Books about animals. Oh, chickens. That's interesting. Books about vegetables. Oh, yes, I like vegetables, especially peas. You can find out any answer if you look in the right book. Ah, here we are. A book on stars. Ugh, what's that? We don't know. It's a cocoon. Caterpillars make them. So, is Betty Caterpillar inside? Yes, but when she comes out, she won't be a caterpillar anymore. What will she be? Um, maybe a frog. A frog? Or maybe a bird. I see. Betty Caterpillar is going to turn into a bird. Then she'll fly. Ah, a cocoon. Yes, Daddy. Betty Caterpillar is inside it. And when she comes out, she'll be able to fly. Because she'll be a bird. Uh, actually, caterpillars don't normally change into birds. Do they change into frogs? Um, not frogs either. But what will she? <gasps> Hello, Betty. Oh, she looks the same. <laughs> she's got wings. <laughs> wow, she's a butterfly. Betty Butterfly. 
Look, they're all flying together. She looks really happy. Let's join them. <laughs> Now everyone can fly. <laughs> I can't fly. Uh, ben, I thought elves were rather good at using ladybirds to fly. That's right. Elves can fly on ladybirds. And I'm an elf. <laughs> Where are we going? To the kitchen. We can use Nanny Plum's cauldron to make the ice cream. Oh, are you going to make the ice cream with magic? Of course I am. But Holly, your spells don't always work out quite right. Making ice cream is easy peasy. Watch. Abracadoo, abracabom. Uh, ice cream for everyone all day long. <laughs> See, it worked. Wow. Ice creams for everyone! Ooh, thank you! I'll be back with more! <laughs> oh, there's quite a lot! Will it stop soon? Uh, I think I told it to make ice cream all day long! Oh dear! <laughs> <sighs> we'll soon be home! Yes! And it's good to see that the kingdom isn't flooded with frogs or jelly or anything. Yes. Holly must be behaving herself. Ah! There's too many ice creams! Make it stop, Holly! Make it stop! Uh, ziggity, ziggity, stop! 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 For you, that's better. Um, ah! Under the bed. That must be Lucy's mummy. Oh no! The window shut. How will we get out? This is elf work. Elves are good at opening windows, and I'm an elf. <gasps> Stop, Ben. You'll wait for Lucy. Sorry. Hmm, I think we're going to need more than one elf. I'll ring for more elves. Oh, where can I get a signal on my phone? Don't stand too close, Ben. Ah, help! Uh, what did Nanny say? Oh, yes, beat your wings. But I'm an elf. I don't have wings. OK, um... Flap your arms. Uh. Hello. <gasps> You're meant to be asleep. You're not supposed to see us. Who are you? Uh, I'm Holly. I'm a fairy princess. A real fairy princess with wings and a wand and everything. <laughs> yes. And this is Ben. He's an elf. <laughs> Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. Oh, I wrote you a letter. Thank you. Oh, it's so little. It's a terrible signal. Wise old elf? Nanny Plum, don't you know what time it is? I didn't call to ask you the time. We're in a big house and the window's closed. I need some elves to rescue us. I see. How many elves do you need? All of them. Too fast! The mill is out of control! It's filling up with flour! Isn't that what it's supposed to do? We have to slow the mill down! <sighs> Alright! I'll just do some more magic to stop the wind! 
No, thank you, Nanny Palum. We've had quite enough of fairy magic. Now it's time for some elf skill. What's your plan, wise old elf? We simply lasso the sails and stop the windmill. Take hold of this rope, elves. Right -ho! Are you sure this is a good idea? We know what we're doing. Stand back, everyone. He's got it! Hooray! Well done, wise old elf. Told you it would work. <gasps> I hope they're OK. <laughs> Elves are never happy. Maybe you can stop the spell now, Nanny Plum. Ah! What did he say? Stop the wind. Oh, OK. All winds, away you go. Remember, you are playing for King and Queen Marigold, and they are very snooty. We like umpa music, but King and Queen Marigold don't. Quite. So play Holly's tune, please. <laughs> Uh, Holly, do the elf band sound any better? Yes, Daddy. They've been practising all day. OK. Let's hear them play. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yes, it's charming, but I still don't think King and Queen Marigold will like it. Why, Mummy? King and Queen Marigold don't like country things, and the instruments sound so, uh, rough. I can fix that. How? I'll just use magic to make the instruments sound more normal. Play me a tune, Mr Elf. <laughs> Fantastic! That sounds exactly the sort of music King and Queen Marigold would like. Problem solved. Now, we just have to get Ben turned back into Ben again. I've got a very good idea. If we both do a spell together... Yes, that would be fun. Abraka Zabadi. Oh, that was disgusting. I was a little bird and I was eating worms. Oh, I don't think our spell is quite finished. Ben's turned into a rabbit. Ah, oh, now he'll hop off somewhere and we'll have to find him all over again. <sighs> We're not having a good day. What about poor Ben? Goodness me, Holly. I've been looking everywhere for you. Sorry, Nanny. But Ben kept wandering off and we had to keep finding him. I see. So where's this frog that needs to be turned back into Ben? Uh, here. But that's a rabbit. Ben was a frog, then a bird, and now he's turned himself into a rabbit. We've tried everything. Well, it just shows that you both need a lot more spell practice. Yes, yes Nanny, Nanny Plum. Plum. Fairies of your age really should be able to get a simple spell right. Yes, yes Nanny, Nanny Plum. Plum. Watch and learn. When you turned Ben into a frog, Abracazobadoo. 
You should not have turned him into a bird. Zappity Z. And certainly not into a rabbit. Abracadabity. No. At the start, you should have made him Ben again. Abracadabity Zappity Z. Hooray! For you. I'm glad that's over. Princess Holly and King Thistle. Hooray! Hooray! Here are the finalists, Your Majesty. This is a tomato. Ah, very, uh, big. And this, a strawberry. Also very big and, uh, red. Now I have to make another speech. Ah. Well done, everybody, for growing this, um, stuff. It all looks, uh, very big. Now, without further ado, I judge that the winner is the tomato. Or perhaps the strawberry. No, no, the tomato. Daddy, they keep using magic. Yes, this happens every time. Why don't we just see which one tastes the best? What a good idea. Let's taste them. <laughs> it can be our lunch. First, the main course, the tomato. Mmm, delicious. Now for pudding, the strawberry. Mmm, scrumptious. Yum, yum. They're both so very tasty. They both win. Hooray! Hooray! So, where's the trophy? <laughs> Hope I'm not too late, Your Majesty. No, you're just in time. Well done. Jolly good show. Hooray! Hooray! Let's play a new game. Yes, hide and seek. OK, we'll play hide and seek. Yippee! I love hide and seek. <laughs> but no flying. OK. No flying. One, two, three. No looking. OK. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Coming, ready or not. <laughs> hmm. Ben's quite well hidden. Not there. Hmm. Not there either. Hmm. Ben, give me a clue. Please. You're very cold. <laughs> Getting colder. Oh. Warmer. <laughs> Hot. Hotter and hotter. <laughs> Oh, there's no one there. Ice cold. Ah, oh, this is too boring. I have better things to do with my time. Here I am. <laughs> Found you. <laughs> Good hiding place, eh, Holly? It was okay, I suppose. Elves always hide well. And I'm an elf. <laughs> <laughs> My turn to hide. Remember, play fair and no flying or anything. No flying, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> Look, a slug. Holly, perhaps you could do the asking this time. You might have to shout a little, though, because slugs cannot hear very well. Why is that, Nanny? Because they have no ears. Can't we just take some slime from the ground? You can't go around collecting someone else's slime without asking them first. It's not polite. Hello, Mr Slug. Louder. Hello! Uh, my daddy, the king, isn't well. We need some of your 
slime to make his medicine. Can we collect some in this jar, please? I think that means yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you ever so much. Well done, Holly. Let's check our list. A dewdrop. Here, Nanny Plum. Slug slime. Here, Nanny Plum. Last of all, we need a frog burp. Hmm, this could be tricky. There's a frog, Nanny. Oh, good morning, Mr Frog. Would you be so good as to burp into this jar, please? Try and relax. That's it. Oh, we haven't got all day. To make babies burp, you rub their backs. OK, I'll rub the frog's back. I can hear something. Hooray! Back to the kitchen. Can I get off now? Of course, Your Majesty. Look, there's a crack. Oh, Daddy, you've broken the egg. No. The egg is cracking on its own. The egg is hatching! Ooh. Oh, it's a little chick. Aww. Good. Now the mummy will hear the chick call and come to collect it. And I can get back to my work. Look, the chick is following Nanny Plum. Usually, the first thing a chick sees is its mummy. And this chick saw Nanny first. So it thinks Nanny is its mummy. <laughs> <laughs> I am not a mummy bird. The chick is hungry. Mummy bird must give it food. I haven't got any food. What do birds eat? Worms and insects. Uh... Gaston is an insect. Gaston? Maybe you should stand back a bit. We need to find some worms. How? With worm charming. Like this. The worms think it is raining and come up to breathe. Away. Oh, come on, everyone. Try again. <laughs> There's another one. Oh. Take your partners, please, for our final event <laughs> the wheelbarrow race. <laughs> oh, dear. Ben doesn't have a partner. Can I be your partner, Ben? I promise I won't use magic or flying. No, you've already messed things up enough. Please, Ben, I know I'll be good at it. Uh, what is a wheelbarrow race? <laughs> this is how you do it. <laughs> I'm really good at walking on my hands. It's just like gymnastics. OK, then. My goodness! A fairy! Oh, well. The rule book doesn't say a fairy can't race. On your marks. Get set. Go! We won! Goodness me! The winners are Ben Elf and Fairy Princess Holly. Hey! Thanks, Holly. No problem, Ben. Who'd have thought a fairy could win the wheelbarrow race? And I can do this. Ooh. Gracious me. What was that? Dancing, gymnastics and looking pretty. 
Very good. At the next Elf Games, we shall have dancing and gymnastics. Ads looking pretty. Yes, and looking pretty. <laughs> Baby Princess Holly can teach us how to do it. <laughs> yes, please. At least I'm dry. <laughs> Nanny's wings are soaking wet. She can't fly. So she's stuck on that little island. Nanny Plum, are you ready to be rescued? Uh, no. I'll wait for my wings to dry and then I'll fly over to you. <laughs> I think that bird's looking for worms. <laughs> I hope Mrs Bird doesn't mistake me for a worm. Woo! 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 Ah! Oh, Nanny Plum's in a bird's nest. I'll be all right, as long as the eggs don't hatch. Oh, dear. Those baby birds look hungry. Oh, bother! My wings are still wet. Woo! <laughs> Nanny Plum! It's not pleasant, but it's only mud. I think it's quicksand. Nanny Plum is sinking into the ground. Uh, Van, I'm ready to be rescued now. Fantastic! Giddy up, Gaston! Giddy up, giddy up! Keep still, Nanny Plum. I'm going to throw this lasso round your waist. She's too heavy! Gaston, pull harder! Woo! Hooray! Ooh, Nanny Plum, you smell horrible. Well, at least no one else was here to see all that. Level one, the computer room. <laughs> that was fun. It made my tummy all funny. Good, wasn't it? And it'll be even better next time. What do you mean, next time? <laughs> You'll see. Follow me. This is where we decide what the toys will look like. Don't you just make it up as you go along? Oh, no, no, no. The toys are designed to the very last detail. Nothing is left to chance. Gosh, it seems like a lot of hard work to me. We pride ourselves on our thoroughness. This is where we choose the colours. That's the doll for Father Christmas. Yes. Now, for example, if I wanted to, I could change the colour of the doll's dress from red to blue. Blue dress. The elf factory would then know to paint the doll's dress blue. But Father Christmas wants the dress red. Of course he does, Princess Holly. That was just an example. All aboard! Next stop, the elf factory. Oh, we don't have to go down again, do we? <laughs> yes, Nanny. The factory is deep down in the roots of the tree. How deep down? Very deep down. Oh. <laughs> All aboard! We're not going down very much. Just you wait, Tolly. Next stop, level 99. Hold tight! <gasps> <laughs> ah, my tummy! This is fun! Whee! Look, witches don't do anything. They just smell a bit funny and make horrible cakes. What? As for magic, they're completely harmless. She probably can't even do a simple transformation spell. Yes, I can. Then why don't you change this horrible wallpaper? Or make these seats more comfortable. Ow! Stop it, Nanny! You could make tasty cakes. I'm warning you. Or get some new clothes. If you change one more thing. A bit of makeup.
I'm sorry I had to freeze Nanny Plum. She was very rude to me. I don't think Nanny meant to be rude, Mrs Witch. Maybe not, but she was. Are you going to keep Nanny frozen forever? No. If Nanny says sorry, she can go. Nanny, say sorry to Mrs Witch. I will not say sorry. I was only trying to help you out, you grumpy old witch. Oh. So, you won't let Nanny go? Nope. We should get help. Uh, is it all right if we go, Mrs Witch? Of course. You have both been delightful company. What's your plan? We have to get the king. Yes, Daddy can tell the witch off. Then she'll let Nanny go. Bye-bye. Uh, bye. Thank you very much for having us. Yes, thank you, Mrs Witch. Goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Quick, run. It's Elf Joke Day. <laughs> oh, I love jokes. I don't think they're very funny. <laughs> you should learn to have a sense of humour, Holly. Come on, Holly. Let's have some fun. Yes. Today's lesson can be how to have fun. Off you go. Oh, uh, all right. <laughs> Happy Elf Joke Day! <laughs> Happy Elf Joke Day! <laughs> Spider, Dad gets it out every year. Ho 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 ho! Happy Elf Joke Day! Ho 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 ho! Mr. Elf! I'm terribly sorry, Princess Holly! I hope we didn't startle you! <laughs> it's okay, it's funny! Oh, oh. Hello, Princess Holly! Are you having a merry elf joke day? <laughs> yes, I like jokes now. <laughs> <laughs> I wish Nanny Plum was here. She loves jokes. Oh, I didn't know Nanny Plum liked such things. Yes, Nanny's got a really good sense of humour. Really? Then maybe we should go and show her some jokes. <laughs> To the elf truck. Finished! Yes. Now let's see if all that soap got that stain out. Oh, Daddy's crown is a bit bent. And his shoes are all soggy. Oh dear. Were the king's clothes always this small? <gasps> They've shrunk! Nanny Plum, are the king's clothes clean? That's Mummy. Uh, nearly ready, Your Majesty. Nanny, what are we going to do? Maybe when the clothes are dry, they'll go back to their normal size. Yes, Ben. I'll just do a simple spell to dry them. But the tailor said you shouldn't use magic. Oh, I'll only use a teeny tiny gentle little spell. Ahem. Abracadabra, make clothes dry. Thunder and lightning, flame and fire! <coughs> ah! Nanny Plum, quick. Give me the king's new clothes. Our guests will be here any minute. Where are the clothes, Nanny Plum? <laughs> and what's that smell? We washed Daddy's clothes, but they shrunk. And then Nanny burnt them with magic. My goodness. Daddy will have to wear his old clothes then, I suppose. But we cleaned Daddy's old clothes too. What? You mean he has no clothes to wear? Uh, 
Yes. Hello. Where are my clothes? Nearly ready, darling. I'm all clean now. Nanny will bring you your clothes in a moment. And I smell lovely. Nanny, call the elf tailor. Ah, too late. That's King and Queen Marigold. 